Now, I was incredibly stressed out when I first invited my friends over to my dorm for Chinese New Year celebration. I nailed the festive couplets on my door. I checked the chicken in the oven for the ninth time in one afternoon. And then, with trembling hands, I put on my national costume. The stage is set. It is time to put on a good show, I said to myself. Later on that evening, as I sat amongst my 12 guests, a friend of mine asked me an interesting question. Hey, Hao Tian, is fortune cookie a real Chinese thing? I sensed his genuine curiosity, and I replied with a hearty laugh. Ha, oh boy, that thing is as American as you are. <laughs> Many questions like these followed, and my nervousness faded away. As we drank and savored the tasty chicken, the evening concluded as any New Year celebration should, in hearty laughter and good wishes of happiness and success in the year to come. Yet, unbeknownst to my friend, this was not the only New Year celebration I had this year. For the night before, I celebrated New Year with my fellow Chinese international students, a celebration held in our little bubble, attended only by those who share our common culture. Now, other than being generally a great host and a riot at parties, I'm also making a contribution to build true diversity on our campus. For I believe that diversity should not only exist to cater to the feelings of those designated as the minority, such as students of color and students of different sexual orientations. I want to debunk the idea that we only create diversity on a college campus to protect those that those are viewed as marginalized and overwhelmed by a homogenous campus culture. Yet, as a member, as a member of international students, I cannot help but to feel a sense of apathy amongst my fellow international students at times, some of whom would believe that we cannot truly make a difference, some of whom believe that our voice is but a pebble thrown into the heartless sea, that we are powerless to change the dominant campus culture. Yet I believe we're not powerless. Being different does not mean being powerless. And if we're to truly foster diversity on this campus, if we're to transcend and enrich the homogenous campus culture, the students traditionally designated as the minority must be more active in promoting and expressing their unique identities and cultures. For true diversity is not a charity given to the minority by the majority, but rather a sustained project that requires everyone's active effort. It is nurtured through our courage to step outside of our comfort zone and by our generosity to open others, to welcome others into our cultures with open arms. It is through this process that we can build true bonds of understanding and mutual respect. Through this process, we lay to rest old hatreds and stereotypes. And through this process, we, the community, unite as one. So how do we, as students of the minority, truly build diversity on this campus? Right here. Let's take international students, for example. At Hamilton College, we have international students from more than 45 countries. Do you know how far some of us have to travel to come here? For indeed, it is a long and arduous journey for many of us to leave the comforts of home and come to Clinton, New York, of all places. Now, we, indeed, we came here to learn. We also came to teach, to share, to show what tremendous insights and value we contribute through the expression of our unique cultures and identities. So, my international fellow international students, Get out there. Go tell your professors and your friends to call you by your real name. Pro teach them to pronounce those syllables, to appreciate the nuanced beauty of your language. Bring your cultural backgrounds and your unique insights into the classroom and show your classmates the experience that they never had. Invite your friends to your traditional celebrations and festivals. Play for them music from home and cook for them recipes passed on from your grandmother. Wear your traditional costume with pride and let none say that you're too shy to show how awesome it is. Tell your friends stories of lands far away and through these tales, show them that there is indeed an exciting world beyond the hills of upstate New York. It, does, it is not easy to get yourself out there, 
It takes courage. But once you do, you will realize what tremendous change you can make as an international student on our learning environment. And you'll be proud of the fact that through your active contribution, you have made Hamilton College a better place to study and to live. I believe that prejudice and mistrust find their common roots in ignorance. And ignorance is oftentimes a strong foe, one that we must resist with, with tireless passion. Yet I also believe that if you're willing to take the first step towards sharing and go the extra mile, you will earn the respect of those who witness your effort to dispel the mist of ignorance. Just as I was greatly motivated by my friend's interest to know my, learn more about my culture, I believe that every group, every minority group around this campus have the potential and the ability to get out of their comfort zone and to show what tremendous change they can bring about in our learning environment. This, I believe, if there is anything truly valuable about diversity on a college campus, it is the mutual respect and humility we cultivate through forming bonds with those truly different from us. In this globalizing era, a little bit more respect and humility goes a long way in helping people of diverse backgrounds collaborate and live in peace. This is the future. This is why I believe any college with an aspiration to cultivate ethical global citizen aim to create a diverse learning environment, an aim that can only be accomplished if we students of the minority get out there and show the world what we can do. For although this is not how the world yet is, this is rather how we want the world to be. And my friends, if we're there, if we're willing and we're, we dare to dream of a world in which mutual respect and humility triumph over bigotry, then I believe, then I'm confident that one day we shall all live in one. Thank you.